What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Kev coming to you with another video. Uh, here to talk about Game Seven between the Washington Wizards and the Boston Celtics. The Celtics pulled it out, 115-105, and win that series four to three. Um, home team uh, wins every game in the series, and uh, I mean. Celtics were just a better team tonight. I mean, I I believe uh I mean tightly contested game. Uh, the the Wizards looked like they could run away with it in the third quarter, but then uh I was I'm sorry, not the Wizards, uh the uh, uh it was tightly contested game. The Wizards were on top until Boston made a run at the end of the third quarter and then it continued on into the fourth quarter. Obviously, uh the uh, Celtics were led by Isaiah Thomas. Had 29 points on the night. Uh, not, didn't shoot that well, though. 9 21 shooting, but he had 12 assists. And um, what really got it done for Boston tonight was their bench. Uh, yeah, Marcus Smart stepping up 13 points, 4 assists. Yeah, Jalen uh, Brown with a nine. But the story of the game was that the Olenek Clinic was open for business tonight. Kelly Olenek, 26 points. His previous career high in the playoffs was 14. 26 points, efficient, shooting 10 of 14 from the field. Five rebounds, four assists. Really getting it done off the bench, man. The the. I mean, he was known as the. I mean, he's he's, he's developed the reputation of being a uh, being a kind of being a dirty player. You know, obviously, you remember what was that a couple years ago in the first round series against Cleveland when he yanked uh, Kevin Love's shoulder out of socket, and then he had the incident with uh, Ubre after the hard screen in Game Three, getting Ubre suspended for Game Four, but. Uh, he came, he came through the night, man. The, the the man bun they call him, you know. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I followed him in college. You know, I really liked him in college. He was that tough, gritty player, you know, kind of like a Draymond Green, you know, or Ron Artest. You know, <laughs> you love him if he's on your team. You hate him if he's <laughs> if, if you're any other team. But but he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna bring it. He's gonna bring his lunch pail. He's gonna go to work uh, every night, and he. He came alive tonight, man. Twenty six points again, ten of fourteen shooting. That's that's big time. A huge performance by Olenek in Game Seven. If you watch my uh, Game Seven prediction video, I chose the Celtics to win this game because of the fact that the that that the role players and the other guys play what play better, and the, the best players play better at home, and that's exactly what happened tonight for the Celtics. Uh, Horford had 15 and six rebounds. Crowder had 14, five uh, and five rebounds. Every rally, he only shot nine shots, had nine points, but obviously, you know, his presence was felt defensively. I mean, he had that big. Was it? He had that big. Uh, was it game five or game six? He had when he had uh, 28, 29 points, but. Obviously, he got back. He got back to what he does best, and uh, that was uh, that's uh, shutting guys down defensively. You know, uh, d doing defensive work. Uh, for for Washington, uh, it was it was all Bradley Beal. Beal was thirty eight of. Beal had thirty eight points, twelve of twenty two shooting, uh, four rebounds, two assists. Uh, Otto Porter had a really good game, 20 points, 6, six of 10, 6 of 10 from the field, I'm sorry, 10 rebounds. Marquis Morris had a really decent game as well, 18 points, 50% shooting, uh, uh, 9 rebounds. Uh, but the, the story of this game was, you know, John Wall, who hit the game-winning three-pointer um, in game six, to send this to a game, send this series to a game seven, he did not 
get it done down the stretch for Washington. He didn't have he didn't, uh, he didn't have any points from like the, I think like the late in the third quarter, all the way through the fourth quarter. You know, and this was this was probably John Wall's best season, you know, regular season and playoffs. I mean, he really he really put himself up there as you know he really well. I what do I want to say? He kind of uh, he kind of distanced himself from the from the other true point guards in the uh, especially in the Eastern Conference. He's 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 the best true point guard, you know. You got guards like Isaiah Thomas and stuff, you know, but just Isaiah Thomas is usually a score first point guard, you know. John Wall plays the game how a point guard should play it, but he didn't he didn't get he didn't get anything done down he didn't get it done down the stretch. I'm not saying his performance was James Harden esque because he had eighteen points, uh seven rebounds, eleven assists. He did he, he did he, he he did impact the game uh uh, in other ways, but uh, as far as him taking over and being that scorer late, he he just did not do that uh, uh, tonight. And then uh, and then uh, Washington again didn't get anything from their bench. They didn't get anything from their bench. Only Bogdanovich, who who had, had a who had, had a really good playoffs, only had five points off off of two shots. Um, uh, Brandon Jennings didn't get much time. Kelly uh Kelly Oubre didn't get, really give that much time and I thought those two especially were guys that uh really brought uh really brought some energy off the bench for Washington you know uh Jennings being that second ball being being that second ball handler you know and that and that good defender to uh back up wall off the bench and then um you had Oubre who again like I said got in that uh uh Charged that uh Olenek after that hard screen and gave him a shove to the ground, got suspended for game four, but came back and had a pr- pretty pretty good game five and game six, in my opinion. But he didn't get any minutes tonight. I was, I'm wondering what what that was with Scotty Brooks, man. What, what's going on there? You didn't give o- Olenek any o- Obre anything in no minutes at all. You know, Yamahimi played ten minutes. And he only got one assist and one rebound. That's, I mean, I understand it's 10 minutes, but you got to get more than that. If you're a Yama, he's 6'10", 6'11", 7'0", whatever, whatever he is, you got to get more. You got to get more. But, yeah, man, pretty pretty bad, pretty, pretty bad, uh, a pretty bad coaching by uh, Scotty Brooks in this game, even though they only lost by 10. Like I said, not giving Uber any time, not giving a Jen, Jen, Jen's more than five minutes. I you know depending to, depending too much on their starters, you know because uh Porter had 39 minutes, uh Morris had 41 minutes, uh Bill had 45 minutes, Wall had 44 minutes, you know you had three guys with over 40 minutes played. Now obviously, I understand that uh, especially the Bill and Wall being your two main to, to go to guys. I mean. I was just thinking, you know, down the stretch when they needed stops, I kind of, kind of, I kind of uh, wanted to see Brandon Jennings and Ubre out there on the floor a lot, a lot more. I mean, for for defensive reasons, you know, there's always the offensive defensive switch that you see a lot of coaches use. You know, you have the defensive players come in when uh, on a dead ball where your team's on defense, and then you have the offensive players come in on a dead ball when your team has offense. You know, I really, I really expected. To see that out of Scotty Brooks, especially in a winner go home game seven, but I, we didn't see that tonight. Like I said, uh, Wall with 44 minutes, Bill with 45, and Wall not a, being able to give you anything uh, uh, late in, from late in the third to the end of the game. I mean, it was, uh, I think that's just, just a hard pill to swallow for Washington because they had a chance to win that game. That's, that's games one, two, and seven. That they could have won in Boston. I mean, and, and he, they win any one of those games with the fact that they they still win their home games. They win the series. So, uh, again, the big story of the game, Kelly, Kelly Olenek, 14 of his 26 points were in the fourth quarter. Hit a big, couple big threes, got some baskets in the paint, you know, really, really came on strong. Of course, Isaiah Thomas led all scores with 29 but uh, yeah, man. And again, story on Washington side: Wall not being able to come come up big late 
and then plus the the lack of bench, the lack of the lack of a uh, Sean, excuse me, Scott Brooks, Scotty Brooks, uh, 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 failure to use the bench more, you know, because like Chuck said in the uh, inside the NBA, uh, on the NBA, inside the NBA, so it's all about the unsung heroes, and sometimes those guys. Like our, our role players in the our role players, uh, you know the kind of starters as role players, or you know the guys that come off the bench. And like I said, uh, Sky Brooks did not use his bench to 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 its maximum. I, I believe I believe he didn't use the bench to his maximum. Again, like I said, uh, James only with five minutes, Ubre with no no minutes at all. I don't see how well, I don't see how Jan Mahini is on the floor for ten minutes. You know. And Oubre is now on the fourth one. I mean, that's something that Brooks will have to deal with in the offseason. Uh, like I said, great great season for John Wall, but uh, just came up short when his team needed him the most. Like I said, like I said I'm not putting this as a, as a Harden-esque game because, you know, he came to play, but he just couldn't do it late. Harden just didn't look right the whole damn game. Uh, but, yeah, man, uh, Celtics move on. To the Eastern Conference Finals, where they will face the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cle- well, I will get to that in the next video. Uh, again, man, congrats to Boston. I mean, congrats to Washington too on a hell of a season. You know, into the Eastern Conference Semifinals, Game Seven, one win away from the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, I mean, they have a hell of a future with uh, Wall and Bill. I mean, it's, uh, I think they're in a good spot. I really think they're in a good spot. Like I said, uh, like I said, I. Brooks probably could have used his bench a little bit more in this game. And I think that's that's really the only thing that really I really see from their side of things that hurt them. You know, obviously their defense on, on Linux wasn't that good. But, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I mean, boys has had a pretty good year, and I expect to see them back uh, uh, very soon, uh, depending on what they do in the draft, depending on, like, free agency, and all that, uh, we'll see, man. But again, Boston's going to face Cleveland. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this series. Uh, let me know what you think about the Eastern Conference Finals coming up between Boston and Cleveland. Appreciate y'all guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you so much. If you like this, if you're watching this video, I wish you nothing but positive vibes only. Hey, I'm going to see you in the next video.